Hi, I'm the Build Monger, and welcome to a very special episode of the Waystone server. Today, we will be working on a Christmas area. We are currently in Lifter 92's lovely Christmas cabin, and if you come outside, you'll see Christmas builds aplenty. We got Waffle Six Modern thing over here. I believe that's Llama Freak's igloo. Naragath's candy cane hut over there. We're in a Christmas area, and we're going to be building something of our own. In addition, we're using the 1.13 textures that Jappa has recently released, so let's have some fun. The basic premise of this Christmas area is that come the 21st of December, which is going to be after this video releases, or before, sorry, we are essentially going to play a Secret Santa Christmas event where we each build stuff in an area and then we swap builds and try and build something festive on the other person's build. So that is going to be super fun and we are essentially going to win this Waystone Christmas Trophy if we have the best build. So I am super excited and I am starting to build my own Christmas build over here. Just the foundation right now. But this is going to be a ye old Victorian style bakery. So yeah, this is going to be fun. So this design is based on a real Victorian storefront that I saw a picture of. It's not an actual Victorian era storefront. It's more like for like a recreation town of some sort. But I think it looks really cool. So we got a little doorway over here and we're going to have a big shop window. I'm using red nether brick for the main block, and then we're going to have green concrete as almost a trim or an awning on the shop window that sticks out on one side, on like the top and bottom, but doesn't on the sides, which I think is going to look cool. And we are going to have some fences that essentially connect that up to basically reduce the layer difference to something that you are actually able to look at without crying. So we have a storefront and I think it's looking very nice. So as you can see we've got some fences here, we've got some buttons and a sign up front that says build mongers breads. For the window I use trap doors and I think that's looking pretty nice. The last thing I'm going to add is just just looking at this, this part seems a bit bland, so I'm going to bring this concrete stripe down like that. And then just for symmetry, I'm going to extend it out. And this like little over overhang or underhang or whatever, going down one block, it kind of gives it a modern vibe, which I quite like actually. So that's going to be pretty cool. Hey guys, 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 guess what I did? Guess what I did? I finished the exterior of this thing, got a little carried away here, and I think it turned out pretty well. The main thing I'm not pleased with is the roof, but I think it's perfectly fine for this build. So let me walk you through some of the things I've added. So starting off, we have a few pavers, chiselstone brick, polished andesite, and we have some side windows here. I didn't make this, I didn't make a second one because I want to use that space for various details in the interior. And we got the same thing on this side and a big old back bay window. So yeah, I think it's time to get started decorating the interior. First thing I'm going to do is start basically putting down a counter here, which is just going to be a little something like that. Nothing too special, but it gets the job done. Next thing I decided to do was basically just add a little furnace design. This was really hard to maneuver around and make, so I'm not going to show you any clips of me making that. However, the last step in this oven is to tear out that, replace these with some of that, take a flint of steel, and just light this up. Finally, add a few item frames take two pieces of bread and just essentially rotate them so that they're vertical and that is your oven and the last piece of interior decor is essentially 
a little bit of a shelf here, so just tear out the ceiling, because it's a half slab ceiling. And I'm just going to add a few shelves for some cakes. And you're going to get something like this, which looks pretty nice. Now I believe the next part that we're going to need to do is just wait for the 21st to come around and do our part. So it is now the 21st of December. And it's time to pick our name. This is going to be exciting. Alright guys, big moment of truth here. Let's right click the button and see who we got. We got Waffle Stick. Okay. So, just as a little bit of a reminder, Waffle over here is the guy who did the Modern House. His little chill getaway, as he calls it with a little porch and a lot of cool furnishings. So yeah, let's do this. One thing, however, I noticed that Waffle doesn't have and it's kinda going to, I don't know, it's gonna impede this guy's progress a little bit, is up here. You see, you got a bed, we got a little fire, we got a table and a chair, we don't have any chimney. How is Santa supposed to deliver presents without a chimney? Well, actually, it's kind of thankful that Santa has a whole division dedicated to building chimneys on houses without one. So, yeah. Let's start. First thing Santa's gonna have to do is move and sell off all of this needless furniture. Oh, hi, Enderman. All this needless furniture that is blocking progress up on the rooftop of this house. Now we got a clean slate, and we can start work on our chimney. So, yeah, now we got a small chimney, but as you can see, it is sort of under construction. So, yeah, it's definitely not the biggest chimney in the world, but eventually the elves are going to change that. So, yeah. It's looking good. And finally, we added a little bit of bricks, or a little pile of bricks, some mortar, and we have a little step ladder to get up to Waffle Six Place. In addition, I have put up some signs over here for, you know, no entry, chimney being built. And, of course, I have one down there which says rooftop furniture for sale. So yeah, I think this turned out well. But anyway guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you did not, tell me why in the comments. And if you really enjoyed it, make sure to smack that notification bell so you can be notified when other videos of mine come out in the future. Anyway, I've been the Build Longer, and I shall see you in another video down the road. Peace.